Welcome back everyone, I'm Martin Wenzel. Dynasty Racing League's Navy Chiefs Cup Series was back at it, this time at Sonoma Raceway in California wine country for the 2017 season's second foray into road racing. Tommy Bordeaux scored his third pole of the season, dominated the race at Watkins Glen earlier. Can he hold off Eric Wolf and Anthony Burroughs to sweep the road races? Zach Wettstein starts third, battling to get in the top 12 for the chase, currently sitting 16th in the point standings. Alex Tilly has switched manufacturers from Chevy to Ford going forward. Logan S. Lane and Chris Stouffer sitting second and third in the standings make up row four. Lane is looking for his first DRL win. Stouffer won at Michigan. Ryan Branch in the Monster Energy 23 Ford. Branch hosted a four hour practice session prior to the race. Big thanks to him. Blake Griffith is running the Trackside Racing Network Ford. Thanks to Adam and Derek for broadcasting our races. Adam Courtney in the 11 FedEx car, currently sitting fifth in the point standings. Martin Wenzel making his return to racing after a month long vacation in America. Starts 16th. Uh, league owner James Pandolf and Daniel Howells making up row 9. Starting all the way back in 18th is current points leader Austin Hakes. And bringing up the rear is Mitchell Briggs. Only 21 drivers turned out for Sonoma, but it's a little bit harder track, road course, so some drivers opting to stay home. Start of the race was very clean, no incidents at first turn. Pretty amazing considering the course. This is a really good group of drivers. However, the second little turn there, Lacey and Tilly, Alex Tilly and Landon Lacey got into each other. Get a view from on board with Landon Lacey running sixth place. Just gets a bump from Tilly right here and goes into the dirt. Get another view on board with Anthony Burrows who started fourth. There's a little bit of tap between the 35 and the 25 sends them to the back of the field. Tight racing between Eric Wolf and Zach Wettstein. Tommy Bordeaux pulling away going into lap two. Chris Stouffer in fifth place, turn four. A hit the curb just right, upsetting his car and sending him hard into the wall. Lane and Aaron James avoiding him and picking up positions. Turn 11, watch Ryan Branch and Blake Griffith battling for 10th place. Branch says he downshifted wrong and that caused a big headache for Griffith as his car gets turned around. On board with Branch, you can hear the downshifting. That's just unfortunate for Griffith. Alex Tilly now back in 20th, gets loose in turn one, slamming into the tires. Two big incidents for him already and it's only lap three. Jordan Gonzalez running 7th, takes turn 10 a little hot and loses control of his car, slamming the tires and nearly tipping over for riding himself. Clay Phillips in 14th place going through turn 9, gets a little squirrely and ends up smashing his rear end into the wall entering turn 10. more difficulty in turn 4A, Jeffrey Tyre's Budweiser car gets loose off the curb and he overcorrects ending up in the wall and dropping back to 15th place. Clay Phillips continues to struggle with the S's and turn 9 as we can see from Ryan Branch's onboard camera.
Battle on turn 11 going into lap 12 between Adam Courtney, Lacey Gonzalez, and Austin Hakes. Gonzalez slows up and Hakes gets into his left rear, loosening him up and taking 10th position. Next lap, turn 11 again, this time Hakes in front of Gonzalez, and Gonzalez gives Hakes a nice little shove and a little bit of payback. Hakes drops back to 12th place as Mitchell Briggs passes him. Turn 11 again, this time the leader Tommy Bordeaux with Zach Wettstein right on his rear and Wettstein's aggressiveness costs him as he spins and falls back to fourth place. The hairpin turn snared Blake Griffith for a second time on lap 17, a little too hot and into the tires. Mitchell Briggs got loose coming out of turn 3A and ended up hitting the wall hard. His day would end in the pits. A tense situation, turn 11, lap 23 with the leaders Bordeaux, Wolf, and Burroughs breathing down their necks. Adam Courtney and Jordan Gonzalez get into each other. And then Gonzalez gets another good tap on Austin Hakes. Lap 31, Landon Lacey gets loose in the S's and ends up in the wall. More action in the hairpin as Clay Phillips, running 15th, gets into Ryan Branch just in front of the leader Tommy Bordeaux. Looks like Branch coming out of it, worried about hitting Bordeaux, corrected right into the tires. Turn two, Adam Courtney in 11th goes wide and slow. Griffith comes in hot and gets into 11th side, then off to the dirt, Courtney continues on his way. Last lap of the race, close contest between Tommy Bordeaux and last two race winner, Anthony Burrows. Tommy Bordeaux currently sitting sixth in the cup standings. Burroughs in fourth place. Tommy Bordeaux wins the DRL Sonoma 110. Burroughs finished second. And Bordeaux completes the sweep of the DRL road courses. Here's Bordeaux on the track and finally getting his second win. This place is uh, is difficult, really <laughs> difficult, but it's one of my favorite tracks on the whole schedule, whole wide world, and uh, so happy to, to win here. Uh, you know what? Uh, first of all, gotta gotta say happy birthday to my longtime friend Davey Hazard. Um, maybe he's watching. He probably is. Anyway, he's out there. Happy birthday to him. Austin Hakes for bringing me to this league. Uh, CRS, JB Dewar, uh, Morning Brothers Automotive on the car. Um, Thank you so much for broadcasting these races. And uh, I want to thank James for putting on this league. Unfortunately, I'm going to be going to college next week and starting there. So I won't be able to race here anymore. So I'm just glad I could go out in style. So thank you. continues his uh, victory lap as Logan as Lane comes up gives him a little tap and congratulations Hakes giving him a little congratulations this being Tommy's final race in DRL as he's off to college
special thanks to Trackside Racing Network, Adam Chapman and Derek Pemberton for broadcasting the race live. Thanks to Ryan Branch for hosting practices, Tater Bowman and David Wellborn for race control, Tater Bowman again for sponsoring the Navy Chiefs Cup Series, and finally James Pandolf for running this premier gentleman's league. Next week, Dynasty Racing heads to Las Vegas for 200 miles at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Tune in to Trackside Racing Network on YouTube Tuesday, September 12th, 10 p.m. Eastern for full coverage. I'm Martin Wenzel. Until next time, from all of us at Dynasty Racing League, take care and happy racing.